what's up guys so I am one day post-op I had my surgery yesterday afternoon excuse me um I look rougher right now than what I feel I feel pretty good actually really good actually um yesterday I remember I was sitting in the OR waiting room and they brought me in to the operating room and I was awake for like two minutes if that I don't even remember like they said they're gonna put oxygen on my face they put oxygen on my face and I was out and I woke up and I remember I didn't really know where I was and I had to go to the bathroom so bad and I moved my legs to get up to go to the bathroom and I got yelled at because I obviously can't move. Um, last night, I had a lot of pain in like my mom's area, pubic, pubic bone area. Um, it kind of feels like I've been tucking for a really, really long time. It's getting achy and sore. Um, but I slept better than I thought and have a lot less pain and then this morning um, I'm still spotting I was supposed to stand today but I can't stand um, until tomorrow I also can't eat till tomorrow night which really sucks because I'm really wanting a cheeseburger um, but yeah pretty much stuck in my bed um, haven't seen anything yet still have a bunch of drains coming out of me I got like two blood drains and Things are beeping because I'm not breathing through my nose. Um, but yeah, just honestly, apparently you can't eat until you pass gas. And so I really, really am working on passing gas right now. But it's not working. So, but yeah, there's a little update. Um, everything is good. Feel good. The nursing staff here is so funny and so amazing. They're all super, super kind. Really, really nice. Um, yeah. See you guys soon. Bye. Hey guys. So I am at the guy house recovering. I just got in about an hour ago and I've been getting situated and hanging out in here. Um, originally, my surgery was supposed to be for July 11th and it got moved, moved to June 13th. Um, and so because of that, the room that we're staying in at the guy house is much smaller than the one we reserved because they are completely booked out. Um, but that's okay. It's it's a cute little small room. Um, it's really convenient, but kind of want to go back to um, what my last couple days have been like. So last time I mentioned, you know, I was on morphine and I felt pretty good. I had this crazy pressure, like I mentioned, it felt like sorry I put my hand there. I'm in a tight confined area, but it felt like I had a tight, very very. Um, tight pressure, almost like I was tucking for too long. Um, and then, I don't know, all the days have honestly blurred in together. So, I had the surgery Tuesday. Wednesday, they wanted me to stand, but I couldn't stand because I was spotting too much. Um, Wednesday night, they moved me to a clear liquid no they didn't even no no clear liquids I had no food Wednesday either um, and then yesterday I like I was so sick and tired of laying in bed and I'm like I need to get up right now like I'm freaking out and um, I got the okay to try to stand that day and maybe eventually go into a walk and so I'm a super Athlete. Not like super super happy, but I'm really athletic. I'm really strong um, Just not being able to walk or stand is like the most insane thing to me like I feel like it just takes zero effort at all and When I try to stand The first time I stood up and I was up for like 15 seconds and Then I completely fainted and blacked out and I had no idea what happened and I was so weak and I was like trembling and I I couldn't do anything and they had to put me back in my bed because I felt fainted 
So that was an experience. It was so weird. I've never fainted before in my life. And it was just like, I blacked out and I didn't remember any of it. Um, sorry, my nose itches. I'm on medication that, I think it's the Vicodin. That's making me so, 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 so itchy. Yeah, I went off, um, Vicodin, or went off morphine yesterday through my IV. And then last night they started putting me on Vicodin. Um, and then they removed all the drains yesterday. And I started on a clear liquid diet yesterday. So yesterday I had like pretty much three meals of jello and broth. But it was like the best thing in the world. And then, um, I've been, like I said, they don't let you eat until you consistently pass gas. And I just started doing that flying colors. I know some of you guys may not like, like hearing this gross stuff, but if you're going to have the surgery, this is stuff you need to know. Um, so yeah, I ended up passing gas and this morning I had, um, or I actually had a decent night last night. I actually had a really good night last night. So Wednesday, I'm sorry, I'm going all over, but on Wednesday, I was just so, what was it Thursday? No, it was Wednesday. I was so exhausted, and I literally slept all day, like, so, so, so hard, and um, then I'd wake up with some pain and stuff like that, but I just slept all day, and then I could not sleep at all Thursday night, Wednesday night, Wednesday night. Oh, my God. So when I woke up yesterday, um, that's when I didn't have anything to eat yet, and I barely even slept, and I was just miserable, and so I tried to stay up as much as I could. I did take a couple naps, um, but they weren't as extensive as my other naps, um, but last night I fell asleep like at 10, and I woke up at 5.30, which is like... A really really good night's sleep it felt amazing and I slept a little bit longer um, so as for like sensation wise um, I still have my catheter in I get that out in three days um, it's weird because it still hasn't hit me yet that I have a vagina um, on my drive to the guy house I was looking and I saw it was completely flat and I was like oh my god that's so cool I'm so excited I'm not going to lie, I'm a little nervous to see what it looks like because I don't want to be grossed out by my own body. And I feel like if it's just all like bloody and gross and nasty, I'm going to be like, eh. Um, I just wanted to be nice and pretty. Um, and then dilation is coming up on Monday. Really freaking out about dilation. You know, it's such a tender wound hole in your body. And then I'm going to be stabbing up this big old dildo up my vagina it's gonna be really really weird um as for sensation wise um everything like pretty much goes numb and then i've had a lot of tingling lately and it's it's weird tingling it's almost it's a very you know when you're like hand falls asleep and just tingles it's kind of like that but not as intense um and just because i haven't seen it yet you know um, I feel like I have had some phantom pains as well, um, but I'm not too sure if that's phantom pains or not. Um, but yeah, I honestly, so this surgery or so far, the pain meds have done unbelievable and I'm in almost zero pain at all. I mean, like I, two seconds ago, I might get this shooting pain for a couple seconds or so. Um... And I've been really active this last hour, two hours. That's probably why it hurts a little bit more, too, is because I had to drive from New Hope on a bumpy road and then walk upstairs and lay in the bed. That's one thing that I didn't think would be hard at all is but in laying in bed. Like, getting from a standing position to laying in bed, it is so hard. So that's kind of why I think I'm having some pain and I'm just planning on laying back here for the rest of the night. Um, my mom right now is just going out and getting us food for dinner because I can eat solid foods. This morning I had the most amazing breakfast. It was just bacon and scrambled eggs, but I have not had that like, food for so long and oatmeal too, and it just tasted so, so, so good. Um, but yeah, one thing that's kind of strange 
And I don't know what this is. It might be just from laying in bed. Sorry, guys, I'm like super itchy. Um, but my abdomen hurts. Like where I push on my belly. It's pretty tender and sore. And I don't know if that's from the surgery or from just gas buildup or what it's from. So, but yeah, um, I will definitely keep you guys updated. I will probably let you make another video after my Monday appointment just to see how dilation and everything goes. Um, my hope is, you know, I fly out a week from tomorrow, which is Saturday. To go home and you know even in these last three days i've progressed so much and i feel so good and i'm actually so surprised at how good i feel like it. the only thing is is i'm really i don't know the only thing is is you get a lot of energy taken out of you um so you don't have much energy to do anything at all when i'm laying in bed i feel completely fine but man i got up and i walked around that nurse's station two times which is like not far at all like a hundred feet I was just completely exhausted and ready for a nap um so yeah I've been really tired because of that um but other than that no pain just really really tired um but yeah if you guys have any questions definitely let me know below bye